Don't know about your house, but my house, it's like this. It's football season, the Raiders are on, I come in, the kids are sitting in my chair, and I'm like, what? I'm like, Papa you know, has a chair. Pop, you're sitting in, Interesting. Uh, he's got a, he, Papa's got a new bag. Papa's which, got a brand new bean bag. I, that's right, and that's <laughs> what we're doing here today is because Matt Rogers is going to show you how you can go old school with your kids and give them a special place to sit where you all enjoy the big game. I'm really pumped about this. I'm actually calling it out of the three and a half years I've been on the show and I've done DIYs, this will be the most done DIY that I've done out of all my Wow. Family. Oh, I For love sure. that. Wow. It's all that right. good. Okay. It's that good. All right. So um, it's usable. I like it. It's very usable. It's very current because, like I said, you know, it's retro. But this is like really cool. Like people would want this in their house, especially now being this football is retro season. too. Very retro. So I did this because, exactly like you said, I'm the same way. I have my seat in the house, and when football's on, I really do. It's like Braden Mace. You know, it, yeah. It's gotten to the point now. It's like, oh, you know, okay, Dad. Like yeah. I don't have to say well, it. Well, we earned that. Yeah. I, I had to. I had to do that for my dad. It's true. Yeah. They don't have their own <laughs> chair. And I did this for them, and they absolutely love it. And now they feel special, cool, and, like, they look forward to football now. I know you're probably football. looking at us going, really? You're treating your kid? You know what I had to do? My dad would be like, change the channel. <laughs> and oh, my I'd sit gosh, there until there he found no something. Remote. No, again, you change the go channel. Up there and change. And Fix then the just as soon as I get back, he'd be like, no, go. I don't want to watch that anymore. And you have to go change the channel. Right. Yeah. But now yeah. my yeah. kids have their own chair. And it's funny that you said the 70s because the, the beanbag was actually created by accident in 1968. Um, when they oh were, gosh, yeah, there it is. when they were, yeah, they're working that's at. What they used to look like. In the, in, that's the uh, old school. But by accident, all of the old um, factory workers, they're working in the factory, and all of the leftover materials from the assembly line, they would just throw it in a bag. And one day, during lunch, the coworkers, the people who were working in the factory, sat down on the bag of beans, and they're like. Wow, this is really comfortable, and they're eating like it forms to my body, and this is great. That's amazing. And it became the beanbag, wow. and they started with that picture, like we showed, you know, in the pleather back in the day. Well, I hope those factory workers became bazillionaires. I know, and you they're know what I'm thinking. So hard. You know what I'm thinking? Because I had a beanbag. You know what I also had that we should bring back? What? Waterbed. Never. Ooh. DIY. Nobody needs bed. a waterbed ever. All right, you <laughs> got started on this earlier today. I Let's did. I came look. in this morning. So basically, what we started with, we chose flannel, and I cut them uh, four pieces. Each piece is 48 by 22. You can go any size you want. And then the ribbons, the seams of the outside, I cut those 24 by 5. You glue the outside edges. You can be pretty liberal with the, uh, with the glue. Put it on nice. Again, those are the stripes at the end of the football. And you glue those on, and you got to do them individually. So those are the four pieces. I'm putting them back together, stacked on top of each other evenly. And what I'm doing here, and that's the middle of the fabric. I'm marking the lines because I'm not the best drawer in the world. And what this is helping me do is trace the line, the outline of the football. So I'm tracing it into a football. And again, those are stacked on top of each other. So when I cut it, I don't have to cut it four times. I'm cutting it once, and they're all there. Now, this is the inside seams where the quarterback would hold the football. Took a normal piece of ribbon, glued it on, stuck it in the middle, and then I put five pieces on top of it, and there you have the seams of your That's football. Cool. Now, seamless. Yeah, so I took the four pieces, you face them on top of each other, and you glue the outside edges. So again, that's face to face. That's why you're not seeing the white ribbons and you see them on the inside. So okay. when you open it. So the reason you do that is because afterwards, which I'll show you when we come out of this pre-tape, I'm gonna pull it out uh, from being inside out and it's gonna be really smooth, just like you see right there. Oh, I so love it. right here, you see how smooth it is? That's because we're gonna pull it inside out. This is the parts we glued. You can see it's ugly mm -hmm. and you don't want that on the outside and we're gonna pull it inside okay, out. Okay, so what do we do now? So I left a little edge um, right here. Okay. So, and you want to leave a little opening because you're going to put the styrofoam in. And then also, you're going to stick your hand in, grab the corner, and pull it out. Like Which a I pillow case. you would have done that, I would have put like a snake in there or something. When you <laughs> in. Pull it inside. <laughs> I mean, do you, do this joke. Because honestly, you at all? no, you guys oh, act like. That would have been funny. <laughs> such, boys are 12 year olds. So here we go. Forever. So okay. check this out. The, we made a funnel because it's going to be easier. Mark right here, we clip the edge. And I love. Okay how Dave Lowe and Summer cut it for me because they knew I would probably cut it too big. Because if you cut uh, the edge too big, this stuff is going to go everywhere. And so that'll be a nightmare. We had to do a lot of vacuuming. So they cut the edge for me. And Deb, you could hold the funnel. So you made it just a paper okay. funnel. That's easy. Paper funnel. Put it in okay, there. Mark. And then, okay. could you do the honors, please? Pull the me to lift this by in myself. You What's want that? Me to lift this by myself. I know it's going to be heavy. Don't throw your back out. <laughs> Look at him. There he goes. Mark Steinus. Look at him go. Okay. Do you know how heavy that is? Okay. 
It's like okay. less than two pounds. And then fill it up. So again, oh, that's you can great. use any type of fabric you want. Now to go a little bit on the less expensive route, this Did is you hold flannel. it higher because that would yeah. actually, oh. yeah, that would help me if you. Kept oh, you want it to go lower? Oh, he's joking <laughs> oh, us. He's joking us. And this, we actually believed him. This <laughs> fabric is flannel. You could use corduroy. You could use cotton. And if you really want to get crazy, I mean, it gets expensive when you start using leather. But this is on the less expensive side. And then also the size, you can customize it any oh. way you want. I gave you the measurements earlier. We went 48 by 22. And that will fill up about a bag and a half. All right, I'm going to leave it like that. These, okay. uh, I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to sit over here, and I'm going to tell you something, another little tip. You probably don't want to fill it up too much because you actually want it to form to your body, right? Yeah, yeah. we didn't fill it up too much. Deb, there you go. Oh. Get comfortable, Deb. Get Somebody comfortable. Somebody get me a nice. drink.